morning, everyone. Well, it's morning for me right now. It's about 9.30 this Wednesday morning. And I thought before the sun gets really bright in the room, because as you can see, the sun's starting to come in. I thought I would videotape my schnauzer room because I've got it all decorated for Christmas. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, I was going to try to do it last night, but that sun was just blaring in the windows. And it, it, was, it was on the opposite side. And it was just beating on all the decor <laughs> where I couldn't videotape it very well. So I thought I'd try to get it done this morning and get it out to you guys hopefully this afternoon. Um, all right, so... First thing, we got a Merlin here. <laughs> we got a Merlin on the Christmas blanket. We've got some Schnauzer Christmas pillows. Here, there's been, I can hear sirens outside and I don't know what's going on. I've just been hearing them for the past like 10 minutes. Oh, there's a woodpecker, look at guys. That woodpecker? Oh, this is a sheriff. Hmm. I wonder what's going on. I might have to get on the Facebook pages and see if I can figure out what's going on around here. Okay. So, anyways, sorry for that disruption and the distraction of the woodpecker there. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> we got our uh, fireplace shelves here done. Let me share them with you up close. It was very sad not to hang up seven doggy stockings this year. Very sad. It really bothered me. Really bothered me. Um, here's the shelf up here. And then this one over here. And then across the um, gas fireplace here, which we, we never turn on. The gas isn't even, we turn the gas off to it. We never turn it on. We always use our wood-burning fireplace on the other side of this one um, in the winter. So we got this garland that was made for me. It represents all the seven boys. I love it. Love it so much. I have some battery-operated lights kind of laying around and on top of there, but I don't have them on right now. They're on a timer, so they'll come on later tonight. I was thinking about getting some red ribbon and, like, the two schnauzers on the end here and then this one in the middle, middle, maybe making, like, a bow for them to add a little bit of red down there with those schnauzers. Not sure if I'm going to do that yet or not. Um, and of course we have the schnauzer tree here, um, which I'm surprised the cats didn't mess up. Oh, I do see something laying on the floor, a berry pick. I don't know where it goes. I'm going to have to figure it out. <laughs> I feel like there's something always laying on the floor or that tree skirt is always jumbled up because they like to sleep on it. My goodness. Um, so I got a new schnauzer tree skirt let me try to straighten it out a little so you can see it better got it on amazon i'll link it down below if you want to check it out i think it was like 1999 um i did have a stuffed schnauzer sitting on top this is a new tree this year um if you remember i had a flocked slim tree here last year but i felt like with the white on the branches that the um schnauzer ornaments kind of got lost in that white because most of my schnauzer ornaments are gray and white and they just kind of got lost with that white flocking on the tree so I think it looks a lot better with just a green tree and then I just used these red berry picks to add a little bit of to add some red into the tree I didn't want to add I, I usually put garland on or some kind of ribbon or something but I wanted the ornaments to be the main focus of the tree I didn't want a lot of stuff on the tree so I think it looks pretty I think it looks pretty so yeah so I've seen the um stuffed schnauzer would not stay right on top of that tree I could have got a cable tie or something and like 
zip tied it to the tree, but I was just like over it and just put a bow on top. <laughs> I was over it. So let me try to scan this. Let me set this berry pick down because I see a couple ornaments that have been moved around. My cat's probably knocking into the tree at night. Let's move them around so when I scan the tree, you can see. I'll just kind of go up the tree. This ornament here came with that garland that's on the fireplace. They're so cute. All right, let me try to get some over here on the side. I, I know I won't be able to get all of them on video because they're around the back there. All right, let's go to this side. The one Emily had made for me for Grant, in memory of Grant, I can't find. It's gotta be in a drawer somewhere. I, had, I tucked it away somewhere and I'm still looking for it. Or it could be in another tote that I haven't gone through yet. Yep, this one's turned around too. <laughs> I guess I should have checked that before I uh, started videoing. <laughs> oh, those kitties. And then when the kitties get under there, the boys want to try to get them sometimes. I told my daughter she has some of those weights that you can like strap around your wrist or your leg, your uh, ankles. So when you're walking, I need to get those from her and lay them on the, on the uh, tree stand down there to keep this from wiggling and possibly knocking over. I thought I was over that with my kitty Merlin here and kitten. Kitten only lays under there. He don't mess around under there. This one runs around it and stuff. Yeah, I thought he had outgrown that, but I guess not. <laughs> okay, so I've got these, um, here comes Santa Paws pillows here on the doggy beds. I found this one this year at Big Lots. So I've got those for the boys. And then we've got uh, the sign that Emily got me last year. And then here on the TV stand, we have a Christmas schnauzer. We've got an ornament holder that's holding my some of my Danbury Mint ornaments that I was gifted from a viewer. I've got my Danbury Mint uh, Christmas tree. I've actually got two of these, but I just got one out this year. Uh, more Danbury Mint ornaments hanging here on this ornament holder. And then this, uh, schnauzer is from the Danbury Mint. Oh, there's my pick I got to put back on the tree. <laughs> yeah, so everything I, uh, from the Danbury Mint, I was gifted from viewers. Um, so I don't have everything out. I ha also have a... Uh, schnauzer with baby schnauzer laying in a Christmas basket. And I have a schnauzer train uh, that I didn't get out. Maybe I could move, maybe I could move some of this back and put the schnauzer train in front. I don't know. I'm probably going to change some stuff up. I always do. After I get everything out, then I'll sit and look at it and think, oh, maybe I should do this or that. Like this green runner. I'm not really digging. I wish it was red. Uh, so things may change a little bit as the days go on now that things are out, but I think everything looks really cute and festive in here. <laughs> Everybody's enjoying these sunspots coming back, guys. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that in the spring and summer, the sun goes towards the back of the house. So these sunspots aren't in the front windows during the spring and summer. So the boys love fall and winter when the sun moves towards the front of the house and they have these sunspots to lay in. I don't know where Marley is. Oh, here he is. He's in the cat tower he loves. <laughs> A lot of people say, I can't believe he can jump in that. He does. He jumps in and out of it. And this is where he likes to lay. <laughs> yep, that is his spot. 
So, okay, I thought I'd just show you the Schnauzer room now that I got it decorated for Christmas. Um, I hope everybody's having a great week so far this week. Um, it's been going great here. Like I said, it was sad hanging up only four doggy stockings this year. Um, about a month ago, I'll be honest, I was like, I'm not putting any Christmas up this year. I'm not, but I thought I have to. I have to for Bennett, even though he's only three months. <laughs> I have to. I have to do it. And, I, and I'll admit, once I started getting everything out and seeing all the schnauzer ornaments, and it just brought me such joy. So I'm very glad I did because I need some joy in my life right now after the year we've had here um, at the Feral House. So, all right, guys, I'm going to stop blabbering on. And I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I was decorating my family tree out in the other room, and I found the ornaments that were sent to me in memory of Grant. can't remember who this one was sent to me by, but I love it. It's a Hallmark keepsake, and they had put a picture of Grant in there for me. And then the one from Emily... It's right here, the picture of Mr. Grant, and then on the back here. So I found them. I knew they were somewhere, just didn't know where. <laughs> so I got those hung on the Schnauzer tree too.